Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back. So today I thought I'd show you some of my favourite art supplies that I'm using at the moment. And yeah, so first I'll start with the basics that I use. Um, I have the white Sakura Jelly Roll gel pen. Um, I don't know if this is really a favourite, but it is what I'm using at the moment because my I used to use the Uniball Signo one, but it ran out and I had these lying around. It does go on, it, it doesn't have the colour bleed through like the Uniball one but it's not as smooth on the paper so I'm a bit unsure. So if you guys any, have any suggestions for a better white gel pen then please let me know. But yep. And I just use, this one's a paper mate a mechanical pencil but I'm pretty much not fussy, I just like any mechanical pencil to be honest. And. I've also been using a lot in my sketchbook the Paper Mate Ink Joy, and I really like how this one goes on the paper. It's so smooth for a pen. It's definitely the best one I've had so far. But my husband has just got given this one from our friend, the Uniball Signo 207, and this is supposed to be like really good. He said he just kept raving about it this morning, and yeah, I can't wait to try this one out as well. But. And for sketchbook, I'm actually getting back into using my A6 Ryman sketchbook. I do want to get a bigger one, but I've nearly filled this one, so yeah. And the next thing is a bit weird, but I'm actually enjoying using post-it notes. Um, I've been using them in my sketchbook like just for covering up either little mistakes, or I went out sketching and... Where is it? I just did little sketches on the post-it notes instead of opening the book while I was walking around. And yeah, it's actually pretty fun, especially doing it on different colours. So I like that one. Um, for fine liners, I'm really enjoying the Kuretake pens. And you've seen me use these ones a lot because uh, I had the, my husband bought me the set of these first for Christmas. And I like these because the nibs aren't actually very soft, like a proper brush tip, they're quite hard. So you get a good line. But this one has to be my all-time favourite brush pen I've ever used so far. And I don't remember the proper name for it. I know it's a Kuretake one, but it's an actual brush nib and I love it so much. It's so soft on the end, but it's just, I don't know, it's so smooth. I love it. So I'll leave links to anything I can for you in the description box so if you want to try it yourself you can. Now this next one I'm is actually fairly new because my stepdaughter bought it and she never used it so she let me have it and it's just literally it's got like the colouring pages and it's a notebook and I've only used the first few pages but I'm kind of enjoying it because it's different having a drawing on one side and then being able to write on the other and I mean it goes from plain paper on one side to fully lined to partially lined so I'm using it as like a mini bullet journal so I'll see how that goes. Um, next on to paints and stuff so I've been getting trying to get back into my acrylics and I tell you what, this is one of the best things I've ever got for my acrylics and it's just an acrylic medium it slows down the drying process so it's a lot easier to blend them and ah oh, when I do my paintings now, it makes it so much easier thanks to this. Because um, they not, I don't always had the trouble where the paint started to dry, so I couldn't blend it very well. But it's just been getting so much easier with this stuff. So if you like acrylics or are interested, I'd definitely recommend this. For the acrylics that I actually use at the moment, I use these bold mirror ones. I wouldn't recommend them for a hard acrylic painter. These are literally for beginners because they're super cheap and I am looking at upgrading all of my paints soon so yeah but they work for what I like and I do like using them so yeah why not. And as for brushes for my acrylics, um, it's kind of difficult showing like saying what they are because most of them aren't even branded. I mean this one I've had for years and it's got no name on it so I can't tell you what size it is or what brand that one is. This one only has a size on it and it says it's a size 9, so yeah. <laughs> and these two are from wabo.co.uk. So 
yeah so it's series medium size 12 and I'm guessing it's medium series M size 6 uh, I have a couple of these ones now, I don't use this one too much but it is good for laying down flat colour because this holds a lot of water but I don't like using it for watercolours because it holds a bit too much water but let's move all that on to watercolours a lot of people ask me what watercolours I use because they like the vibrancy and whatever and I mostly use the Winsor & Newton Cotman sets I don't know if you still get them like this anymore I think they've changed the packaging maybe but I changed the colours around it in this one but I think that's the one you that's the basic colours you normally get it just comes with this little brush which I don't use that often anymore mine's a bit of a mess because I use these a lot but yeah that's pretty much it other than the palette I made myself with oh god I have quite a few different types I mean I've got bold mirror watercolours uh, painting with watercolour ones and I have a few of the Cotman watercolours uh, yeah so I've got a few different ones most of these in here are the Cotman ones apart from like this one where it's a flesh tint one I've got that in there but yeah I think I definitely prefer the Cotman watercolours and I don't have a preference between um, tube colours or pan to be honest I prefer the half pan because I can go travelling with them a lot easier but then you can just make a palette like this so it makes no difference really I like using both and that one's got all my spare half pans in which are kind of falling everywhere but yeah and then it took me a while to get used to these but these are just some water brush pens and they're actually just super cheap ones. I think they're from China. Um, it's really confusing when I try and do the water because obviously I try and twist it that way and it doesn't, it twists backwards. But I just wish the water barrel bit in this was a bit bigger because it do, they do run out of water really quick. But I think they were like £4 off Amazon or something like that so I'm not going to complain. Better than the nearly £10 it is for a Pentel Aquash. So. Yeah, I think that's it. I will show you what watercolour paper I like to use, but I have none left, so I can't do that. But I do normally prefer, well, it's the Windsor & Newton cold press. So if I can find the one I like, then I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my current favourite art, yeah, art supplies that I use. And... I have nearly finished this sketchbook, so look forward to another sketchbook tour soon. I've just got, I think it's like 15 pages left maybe, so yeah. Anyway, that's all for today's video, so thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!